Hi, this is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop, and in this video I want to teach you how to add a browser extension. So a browser extension is a little tool that you add to your browser. And I already have a few little tools here, but in this video I'm going to show you this tool called Measure It. Now one way to find this extension for Chrome is to go to Google and type in Measure It Browser Extension Chrome. So you could just type in the exact thing and that will get you to the Chrome Web Store and Measure It pops up. And you can read about it and I'll, I'll demo what this does. But this is one way to find the extension you're looking for to just Google the whole thing. So let me show you another way. So let me go to Google and I'm going to type in Chrome extensions. So I'm going to go to the Chrome extension store and there's lots of different browser extensions. I'm going to search for measure it. And this is the one that I want and there's some other ones in here but I'm looking for measure it. And what this is is a little ruler that lets you measure things on a web page. So I'm going to click Add to Chrome. Now I want to pause and before I do that I just want to say these techniques that I'm teaching you will work for other browsers. So in this instance I'm using Chrome. It's very similar. The process is very similar for Safari or Firefox or whatever browser you use. So I'm going to click Add to Chrome and it says, you know, do I want to add it? I'm clicking Add Extension and now it has been added to Chrome. So I can close that out. So now I have this little measuring tool. So let's say I want to measure the width of my sidebar because I want to know, I want to put a picture in the sidebar, I want to know how big it is. You click on this little measuring tool and you'll get a little crosshair. Now if for some reason when you click it doesn't work, it's because you just added it so you may need to close your browser and open it back up again. So I'm going to, I see this little crosshair and I'm going to go, I'm going to measure this width and it says 307 pixels and I just click again and I can measure something else. So here's the content area of my site and this says 948. Now know that it may be 950, you know, you may not get it perfect exactly right, but it gives you me a sense. I think 950 is probably it. So this is the width of the center of my blog. So it's just a handy little tool and when you want to turn it off you just click that again and it goes off. So it's a handy little tool like, oh what was the size of this picture? I click on it so you don't have to look things up. Okay that's about 160 pixels. So the measurement is given in pixels. Let me just show you one of these other extensions that I've already added which is Colorzilla. You click on that and it lets you pick an image. See this little this little Colorzilla sample area shows up and as I mouse my cursor over look up here in the little box and maybe I want to know what's this color red or what's the color of my hair or what's this color purple. See this little crosshair as I move around and I click on that. Now the color has been copied and when I click this drop down I can go to the color picker and now I can get grab this color or modify it. So there's all kinds of different uh, add-ons that you can add. Go to just Google browser extension Chrome, browser extension Firefox and look around for different extensions and you might find something in here that you hadn't thought of that'll be really helpful for you being more productive. Just don't go crazy and get way too many of them because that'll drive yourself nuts. So I've just taught you how to add a browser extension to Chrome. Again, what I've taught you can use for Firefox, Safari, 
whatever browser. So Google your favorite browser extensions, check it out, see if there's something that would be useful to you, and add it on and watch your productivity go up. This is Christina Hills with the Website Creation Workshop.